Which is mostly BJ's fault, but you know. I did say it to your fucking face, you knob. I literally feel my heart ripping out of my chest right now. So that, this, it's just, it's, this book. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm filming another reading vlog and I'm very, very excited for this reading vlog because this is, do you have something you need to say to the vlog? Do you need to say something? Okay, she's pissed. I'm sorry, I love you. Anyway, we are reading Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings, and I'm so excited to read this. I've heard so many amazing things about this book, and we all know I'm a sucker for a good romance, especially a toxic romance. That's exactly what I've heard this is. First of all, there's no synopsis on this book, like, that I can see, so guess we're not gonna read it. I honestly would rather go into this blind. I don't know. I feel like it's perfect to go in blind for this video. I'm gonna be completely annotating this. If I'm making a video out of it, I should probably completely annotate it too. So I can give you guys the best consents. I think I'm gonna use a pink highlighter. I don't know, that matches the vibe. What if I'm not feeling blue? I was looking for more like a red. If you will have to use the tabs that I used for a little life. These tabs are giving Magnolia Parks. I don't know, it matches the book's vibe. So we're gonna go with <laughs> these ones. I've been fully annotating this book, but my, my brain just needs a break. I can't it's this book is a lot so we're gonna be taking a break from this <laughs> have all my annotating supplies and it's upside down have all my annotating supplies and let's get started <laughs> I love that this book is British because I just am reading the dialogue with a British accent and it's just 10 times funnier. Oh, I did say it to your fucking face, you knob. Anyway, I've barely read anything, but I wanted to show you guys my annotations. These are my annotations for Magnolia Parks and I've already annotated a couple of things, but I've literally been underlining so much already and I'm barely 20 pages in. I love her writing so far and I just have a feeling I'm really gonna like this book and I'm really gonna like her as an author because I just love the way that she writes things. I don't know, she like writes things very beautiful E, Beautifully. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. Currently on chapter seven. Their relationship is very confusing. First of all, they're so toxic for each other. It's like really bad. I really, I'm not liking BJ. Like the choices that he makes, I don't understand. You love her, but you're sleeping with other girls. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I'm so sorry. My background has not changed at all. I've literally just been sitting here reading. I'm honestly loving this. I love when I just sit down and read a book and I just don't want to put it down. I just want to keep reading. And that is exactly how I'm feeling with this book. First of all, I love the dialogue. <laughs> Let me just start off with that. I'm a sucker for good dialogue. Like if the book has good dialogue, it automatically makes the book like 10 times better. Just if the dialogue's dry, it's just, it's hard to stay interested. But the dialogue in this book is so funny. It's hilarious. It's kind of like reminded me of the dialogue in the Addicted series, which is one of my favorite things about that series. Still not liking BJ. Um, He's very sus to me. Magnolia, she's funny, honestly. Like she's a spoiled brat. <laughs> but she's funny like this is like British royalty kind of characters in this book are insanely rich BJ bought Magnolia a Chanel bag because he slept with another girl That's how this story goes uh, <laughs> I'm curious to see where their relationship's going to go because it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere right now It's just like a toxic never-ending cycle of the same things BJ sleeping with other girls Magnolia dating other boys and them never being able to commit to each other which is is mostly BJ's fault, but you know. I also am loving the author's writing. It's just so poetic. I don't know how to explain it, but she writes in such a poetic way. It's very different, but I like it a lot. Let me find some quotes. 
What in the hell are you doing? <laughs> everything wonderful, everything magical, everything painful, everything beautiful and spectacular and wretched and defining that has happened to me happened with him. And I hate him for that. I down and out love her in all spectrums of light, even the absence of it. I just have a feeling I'm gonna have some favorite quotes from this book. I already do, because I just love her writing. So I'm gonna keep reading. It is like 6.30. It's probably not 6.30, it's probably like six. I'm now on chapter 32, page 250. So I'm over halfway. Okay. I don't know if this is a thing that other people go through, but whenever I'm reading a book that's like really, really good, I'll be like thinking about it at work or like thinking about it when I'm not reading the book. And I get confused whether it's a book I'm reading or a show I'm watching. And I literally <laughs> like, I don't know why that happens. I think it's just cause the book's so good. I can like literally visualize it in my head so much that anyway, that probably doesn't happen to anybody else, but that's what's been happening with this book. Basically, that means it's good. I've been tabbing a bunch. I'm loving the banter. I'm loving BJ and Magnolia and their little found family friend circle. I really like it, but it's also like incredibly toxic. You can tell that they all really love each other, but it's still so incredibly toxic. I'm literally, when I'm reading, I'm sitting here screaming at the book like, BJ, what are you doing? BJ and Magnolia. I, I couldn't tell you like if they're possibly gonna get together or not because you can't really ever tell. I'm gonna go read and I'm gonna be reading in the same spot that I always read. Over on my chair. shirt throughout this entire video. <laughs> I am less than 100 pages from finishing Magnolia Parks. These two pages, <laughs> but I'm just gonna, this quote, I'm just gonna read you guys this. I'll love him till I die, love him till it consumes me whole and kills me dead. So maybe love doesn't conquer all but just some. I'll love him till I die, love him till it consumes me whole and kills me dead. So maybe love doesn't conquer all but just some. Because all is vast and love is so varied, like light in a prism. If you move it around a room, depending on how it catches, it changes. It means different things and there are so many different things love can be to people. I know that some love is beautiful and some is freeing. Some unravels you, some love poisons you, some blinds you, some betters you and some loves break you in invisible ways that no one else knows about until you have to stand up and the weight of your love crushes your bones. Like, bruh. You know what's so funny too is that one of the main tropes in this book is love triangle like it's a love triangle and that's one of my most hated tropes i do not like that trope at all i actually had no idea that it was in this book but it has not bothered me once at all because the love triangle in this book is so weird like they'll all three go on dates together because the two guys are competing for her and i feel like most love triangles aren't like that because that's really weird <laughs> most of the time the guys don't even know about each other so that this it's just it's this book it's completely different. Honestly, the dynamic between their friend group is so weird. They all hate each other, but also love each other, but also have all dated each other. You know, BJ's beating the shit out of somebody once a week. Don't know how this is gonna end, and I'm kind of scared, but... Chapter 57 just literally ripped my heart out. I literally feel my heart ripping out of my chest right now feels like my own heart is breaking. Like this isn't even, they're not even together. I don't even know what you would call them, but it feels like my heart is breaking. I still have this much left. <laughs> I 
I just finished Magnolia Parks. Automatic five stars. Automatic five stars. This book had me feeling so many emotions. This book is very love or hate. I know a lot of people don't really like this story and then a lot of people love it. Like me, I love it. And the ending, oh my god, the ending? The ending was crazy, okay. Um, what? I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Needless to be said, um, I need to buy the rest of the series. I highly recommend this book to anyone, especially if you are a avid romance reader, you would definitely love this. If you don't really like romance, uh, you may not like it because it's, it's very toxic. If you're not into like really toxic, then I wouldn't read this because there's nothing cute and lovey about it between them two. Their love is so intoxicating, you want to keep reading, but it's not like a cute love story <laughs> at all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a reading vlog in a while. So let me know how you liked it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any content from me and let me know if you want to see me read the rest of the series. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!